CES isn't typically a show where we've come to expect to see exciting new smartwatches launch, but hey, why not kick off the year with some new Wear OS devices? Fossil is here in Vegas showing off the new Skagen Falster 3, and we're here to take a closer look. Now, if you'll recall the Skagen Falster 2, it was one of my favorite Wear OS watches around just for its gorgeous design. And this time around, the Falster 3 packs some hardware differences. It retains a lot of the same DNA and looks largely the same, but somehow there's some changes here that make it a little less attractive to me. There is a larger 42 millimeter display. The bands are a little wider at 22 millimeters thick. And instead of that stainless steel mesh strap that I've come to love on the Scott & Falster 2, there's new band options, including a silicone mesh and a brown leather looking option that look more masculine than I prefer. Still though, this is a good looking smartwatch. It's got that Scandinavian minimalist look, the lugs that are so iconic to the Skagen brand now. Internally, the hardware of the Skagen Falster 3 is very similar to Fossil's Gen 5 smartwatch that was launched late last year. This one comes with the one gig of RAM and eight gig of storage, which is a little bit more room for you to install apps or watch faces as you prefer. There is the Snapdragon Wear 3100 chipset, which is supposed to come with Google's battery extending modes, but Fossil also has its own proprietary software to extend your battery life on the watch. That's important because we know Wear OS watches are notorious for lasting only about a day or two on a charge. With Fossil's battery technology, you'll get about two plus days on the Skagen Falster 3 as you do with the Gen 5. But if you kick on one of the extended modes like custom or time only, you can select and fine tune exactly what it is you wanna leave on, like your GPS can be turned off just to save a little bit of extra juice, and then just squeeze out all of that extra runtime so you can get maybe even up to a week or two uh, depending on what you've activated or disabled. What differentiates the Falster 2 from the Falster 3 are that the newer watch has some uh, fresh new watch faces and the new tiles feature that Google announced for Wear OS back in May 2019. So this makes Wear OS feel a little bit easier to use. It's a little bit more similar to the Samsung's Tizen OS, where instead of having to launch the all apps uh, screen and then finding, say, your weather app to look for the day's temperatures, you can actually just swipe horizontally continuously to find the actual widget uh, for the weather and then get it there at a glance. If you do want to buy it now, though, the Skagen Falster 3 is available this month for a starting price of $295. Launching alongside the Falster 3 is a variant that's a result of a team-up between Fossil and Scandinavian DJ Kaigo, who has a residency here in Las Vegas. Now, he's here also launching his own headphone line, but he's teamed up with the smartwatch maker for that variant in his own custom style. It's all black. It's got you know, matte lugs and everything. If you're more into that very standard all black look, that might be more your taste. So it's at the same price, consider it. It's got a custom face as well, but largely the hardware is the same. So for all of the watches that might be coming out of CES 2020 and for all of the news out of the show here in Vegas, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned to Engadget.